You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Larry Pottage, Robin Baumgartner, Paul Conrad with weather, Valerie Warner with traffic, Pat Tomasudo with sports, and Dean Richards with entertainment. This is WGN Morning News at 7. Ladies, does your guy spend more time in the mirror than you do? Are you amazed that every conversation topic seems to migrate toward him? Well, we are going to find out how you can tell if he's just a jerk or if you have an actual narcissist on your hands. Author Lisa Scott has written a book called It's All About Him. She's here with a few tips. Good morning. Good morning. So quickly, for people who don't know, a narcissist sure. is what? A narcissist is someone who has a self-inflated, puffed-up ego. So they need to be the center of attention. They must always be in control, and they feel that they're always right. Underneath it all, they are actually quite insecure and overcompensate for this by projecting an image of superiority. Well, what's the difference between having self-confidence and being a narcissist, That's which sounds a negative. a really good point. Narcissism is the enemy of healthy self-esteem. It's something that looks like the real thing, but it isn't. So oh. that's why you want to be mindful of it. All right, so you are going to ask the boys yes. questions, to, and we're going to define if they are narcissists. So go ahead with your questions. Certainly. Okay. True or false? Oh, uh, first yes or no. question. Our, our yes cards or no. say yes or no. Oh, yes or no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My That's so narcissistic of you to assume. Get it right, woman. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I am unique. Would you say yes or no? I am unique. Okay, interesting. All right. So we have one, one, and zero. All right. I'll Next keep tabs. Yes. Well, you thank you. Right. Question two. People are envious of me. What would it? Okay. All right. So you're keeping mm -hmm. score. Number three, I can easily <laughs> persuade others. Well, yeah, this is such a oh, for, loaded come on. question. Your gut. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. I do yeah. movie okay. reviews. I know that's not true. <laughs> People are drawn to me. Excuse me? <laughs> People are drawn to you. I... Oh, for, they're liars. They're being they're very modest. Liars. I know. Oh, come on. Uh, the needs of others exhaust me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get a close up of this? <laughs> wow, that's a very big indicator, Larry. Uh, the last one, I am usually right. Uh, yeah, I mean... yes. <laughs> yeah. Can yeah, I put yeah. a big hell above the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are our answers. There she is going to define if these boys are narcissists. Okay. Well, by looking at this, no, none of you are what we would call pathological narcissists. There's a healthy level of narcissism, which you seem to possess, and then there's unhealthy narcissism, which is someone who is so consumed with themselves that they're unable to yeah. see. Others. Could that be a woman? Well, of course, women can be just as narcissistic as men. Yes. Ask those questions again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, but they're all liars, though. Right. They're if liars. You answered, if you answered yes to four of the six questions, that indicates a high level of narcissism. All right. Well, so what if you, you're, you're dating a narcissist? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? Do you, do you just dump that person? And if you're a narcissist who wants to turn their life around, is that possible? Right. Good questions. Um, if you are in a relationship with a narcissist, you must accept that they will never change. Their needs uh -huh. will always come first. They will take, 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 and not give. You must accept mm -hmm. that and be okay with it and understand that they are emotionally limited or you must move on. Someone's dated a narcissist. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I What if you work with a narcissist? Does that rub off on you? Oh, yes, yes. That's very... Oh. Uh, we're all that doomed. can be difficult, and there are books on managing that, which will be my next book on how oh, to work wow. with a narcissist. Why don't you get, get to work people, on it? I'm working on it. What if a group of people's entire existence was based on that, like our little oh. dysfunction? We could have some well. trouble. Yeah. The name of your book is what, Lisa? It's called It's All About Him. It's All About and Him. And the women who love him. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you on the next book tour. Stop stories next. <laughs> Do you see how much stress I'm under because of the way?